Hey, 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 what's up, you guys? Your commissioner speaking. And yes, I am making a very rare appearance in this 2021 season. It is week 14, which is the first time we're running a regular fantasy football season game on week 14. Why? Because we are crazy. The NFL extended an extra regular season for us, so we had to push it an extra week. So now we have 14 regular season games. Otherwise, this would have been our first playoff week. But this is why I want to talk to you about real quick. There is a total of four teams tied with a 6-7 and seven record. Uh, uh, Tony Anton has got a 6-7 and seven record, currently holding the sixth and final place on the playoff bracket, right? So... It's juicy. There are four teams tied with six and seven. That is Tony, Jay, Michael, and myself with a six and seven record. So I had to nail that down. But before I get to that, I want to make sure I talk about the positives here, okay? So first and foremost, let me congratulate uh, Cody for being our leader with a de dominant 10 and 3 record so far. Alone at the number one seed, so whatever happens this week, whether win or lose, he's gonna remain on the, because he's got a two-game lead. So even if he loses this week, he's still gonna be our number one team. So Cody, congratulations! That ten and three is very massive. Uh, also, the power rank. He's also a power rank leader with twenty-five, thirty-seven point six two fantasy points this year so far. There's still one game left in the season, of course, right? So uh, just to compare to that, our best all-time. Power rent record is being held by Anthony back on his good old first year, 2014, with 3,094.8. So, Cody, you need to get about 400 something points or so to get that record. All right. So, hey, never know. But uh, anyway, so Anthony still holds that record. Uh, I believe, well, since now we have an extra uh, game in the regular season or best. Uh, Season ever is eleven and two by uh, uh, Alvin. He's now in our, in our league anymore, but he's the the, the best record holder for that. Our lowest ranked leader, sadly, Terrence with nineteen forty eight point eighty two fantasy points. Uh, so yeah, so congratulations, Cody. You are our leader, sir. Congratulations. Uh, so let's get right to it, you guys. So I did some analysis, all right, to see what the outcomes may be with those six and seven teams. So we have uh, obviously Tony right now holding the sixth spot with six and seven, but what happens, right? So this week uh, I'm happy to be facing Tony, all right, for the battle for the six and sevens. However, I think if I win, uh, obviously depending on what other people do, right now Anthony is the uh, current seven and six team so obviously we all have to make sure that uh, Anthony wins, right? We have to make sure that other tickles down to the bottom. But anyway, this is my uh, analysis that I did. Okay, so I'm going to go through it real quick. It's going to make no sense. It went just through my head. So to analyze uh, who beat basically each other for the six and seven teams. So uh, going back to week three, Jay beat Michael. Uh, week three, Michael beat me on week four. I beat Jay on week five. Uh, Tony beat Michael on week six. Uh, Tony also beat Jay on week seven. Uh, I happen to beat uh, Tony on week 11, so I have a game uh, advantage on that. Uh, Jay also beat me on week 12, and Tony beat Michael week 13. What does that mean? Let me narrate down a little further. All right, so overall, Tony, Jay, Michael, and myself are the six and seven. So who beat Mike? Uh, so Jay beat Mike in week three, and Tony beat Michael twice. So Tony's got a two-game advantage. Uh, so he beat Michael in week six and week 13. So I would say that Tony is safe for Michael taking over his spot there. Uh, who beat Jay? I beat Jay in week five, and Tony beat Jay in week seven. Who beat Tony? Uh, so far out of all four, only I beat Tony week 11. Uh, and who beat me? Michael beat me in week four, and Jay beat me in week 12. <sighs> Again, it's so scrambled. You know, it's uh, the best uh, 
tiebreaker is a head-to-head -head challenge, which is why I am covering this right now. Head-to-head -head is the number one tiebreaker. Uh, so based on that, I mean, uh, it's kind of hard to predict. Uh, yeah, I mean, Anthony, if Anthony were to lose, let's put it that way. Let's say Anthony loses, he goes to 7-7. Seven and seven, and then out of uh, the six and seven teams that could potentially win, well, who's got an advantage there? Let's see. Well, Michael beat Anthony in week one, and Jay beat Anthony in week eight. So Mike and Jay, if they were to win this week, and Anthony were to lose, right? So that could tickle down. Anthony down could potentially be taken out by either Mike and Jay, right? What does that mean? I don't know. So scrambled. You have to review this uh, video a million times in order to make sense of that. But I was uh, excited to see who beat whom and who's got an advantage over whom. So Anthony, watch out for Jay and Michael if you were to lose. You see? Uh, and then overall, I think uh, Anton, who holds the sixth spot right now, uh, besides me beating him uh, this week, I think Jay overall has got the lead on the six and seven teams overall. So Jay, if you were to win and Tony were to lose to me, I think Jay has got an advantage over me to potentially move up. You know what I mean? So, but you never know. You'll see. You know, it could go into the power rank uh, after the tiebreaker. Uh, let you say it's even one and one. You could go to that. All right, so I just wanted to kind of throw that out there without making this video very long. I wanted to also cover or uh, or Mula. All right, so we have our first place winner will get six hundred dollars with the trophy. Uh, second place gets three hundred. Uh, third place gets one fifty, and the toilet bowl winner gets their money back. Okay, at their hundred dollars. So, so there are no issues later. I wanted to document it on this video because I don't think I said that at all this year since I lacked videos. <laughs> but anyway, I do want to thank you guys for playing. This is the last week of the regular season. So next week is going to be playoffs and where money is going to be involved. Okay? So just remember, if you don't make the winner's bracket, uh, in case you're new, in this case, the only new person is... Cesar, right? Cesar is clearly in a playoff uh, race. He's currently ranked number four. So he doesn't have an issue about going into the toilet bracket. But just so he's aware, the toilet bowl, the toilet bracket, they battle out for their money back. Okay, so everybody is a, get a chance to win some kind of money. Okay, guys, so I want to thank you for uh, being part of this league this year, being uh, active, and I will pay all the winnings after everything's been finalized any close games will have to be on hold until potential uh, uh score changing movements since we had one of those this year actually it must have been i think week one <laughs> that we actually had a uh, i think tony right ended up taking that lead over the little uh scoring error changing and it flipped the win so again we had this issue in the past so not until we get finalized numbers for everything We'll pay out all the, all the winnings, okay? And uh, most of you paid uh, virtually through PayPal, Venmo, whatever. And so nowadays, that's the best way to do all this good stuff. Last year, I had an issue getting into my trophy people. So I ended up giving the trophy out via mail to uh, well, Aaron. Sorry. <laughs> Aaron was our, is a current holder for or champion. So he received his trophy in the mail. So... That might happen again this year. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, shoot them to me. Other than that, thank you for watching this video. It's longer than I expected it to be, but good luck to the six and seven teams. I will make sure I will notify everybody. Okay? Thank you, and have a rest of a good week. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> All right, bye.